Hello everyone, today we are making some pretzels in the air fryer because my oven is trash. So now we're going to start off making the dough. Pretty simple stuff. These are the ingredients, just some flour, yeast, salt, sugar. So we start off by pouring some warm water into a bowl then put in a tablespoon of salt and then another tablespoon of sugar as well. And then we want to mix the sugar around you know, just get it all dissolved, that's all we need. Once the sugar and the salt has been dissolved, we are then going to be adding in yeast. Now from the recipes that I've looked at, I believe it's just a packet of yeast, of that instant yeast stuff. I don't have that, so I kind of had to make equivalents with the instant yeast I have. And then we just, yeah, mix that around to it's all foamy like it is right here. Once that's foamy, we are then going to be adding in flour. So I got very sexual. <laughs> 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 anyway, moving on to a lovely view of Matt's shoulder. Uh, I guess we'll be using this view anytime soon. So yeah, so we keep on kneading and mixing and adding flour where we need to. If it's a bit too wet, just add a little bit more. And then we just keep on kneading, adding flour, adding water if need be until we get yeah, a dough, dough like substance, which is nice and smooth. Of course, this would be a lot easier if you had a mixer, a stand mix or something like that, then just put on the dough setting and just let it do its magic. But you know, just gonna use old fashioned hands because I don't have anything. I wanna preface that there's no reason why you should drop your dough from a height. We just did it because it would be funny. And then yeah, we have a bit of a dough, which we are now going to let proof. Check out, oh, look at the size of this bad boy. That is well and truly toppled. Look at that, now we smack it down. I was gonna make it magically disappear from the front. So yeah, that was just letting it proof in the oven on the light setting for about an hour and a half and it proofed to that size. So before we're gonna go kneading, we're gonna just prep a few things. We're gonna just prep a piece of paper, we of paper for our air fryer to put the pretzels on and now we're going to start boiling water with bicarb soda. Uh, this is going to, we're going to boil our bread which will then create a nice hard crust when after when we cook it with the bicarb soda. Once we have the water boiling we are then going to be taking out our dough from where we proofed it from and we're going to be start to make the pretzels. So we're going to separate them into equal size pieces. I think I ended up with about eight from this. I tried, they weren't very equal in the end. Once you have your different size pieces for your pretzels, you're then gonna be rolling them out into a nice thin uh, serpentine-like form. I don't know the best thing. And then you wanna be putting it into a U shape, twisting it over and then bringing it down. So I'll show it again in case you didn't quite get it. And you might wanna just go through this, but yeah, make it into a U, start off with, once you've rolled it out to your correct size, put it into a U, then you want to kind of cross over, then you wanna bring the cross down, and that's how you make the pretzel. After, you do, after you've done it a few times, it gets pretty simple. And you just wanna do that for all of your different pretzels. After making your pretzels, you're just gonna boil it in your boiling bicarb soda concoction for about 10 seconds, 20 seconds, not too long at all. Then you're gonna apply an egg wash, on top of the pretzel, use a brush or if you like me use a fork and then sprinkle on some kosher salt or some big nice salty flakes and I'm going to chuck that into the air fryer or the oven if you have one that works well and you can set a good temperature to it so now we're going to bring it over to the air fryer and we're going to set it to I believe we did 180 for nine minutes if you do it in the oven it should be possibly 180 in 10 minutes you just I, I played around a lot to see what would work best or yeah the solutions you have after we're cooking you just got to trial and error it you know in nine minutes hopefully we have a we have a nice pretzel and here we go after nine minutes we get this dark salty pretzel looking thing now i'm going to be the first to admit this isn't going to win any awards for looks but you know it's pretty good could be better. It looks great. Let's give it a taste test, shall we? Yeah. Mm. 
You should try some of that. Mm. It's hot. I'm not sure if it needs to soak it Hmm. And there we go. That is pretzels in air fried because my oven, I can't set the temperatures. So that's going to just be a common theme with a lot of my cooking. It's going to be a lot of air fryer cooking because I don't just don't trust my oven. But if you enjoyed that video, give it a like. If you want to see more content, cooking, lifestyle or gaming, give it a subscribe. And maybe comment down below if you have any ideas for what food I should try and make. Thank you all and all have a great day.